You may want to pay close attention to today's video because I'll be revealing the method that I use to write a 3000 word article in less than 10 minutes. The article was also 100% human generated content and it also had an SEO score of 75 out of 100. So if you're looking to write SEO optimized content that will rank on Google but also has a low AI detection score, then today's video is going to be for you. Let's go ahead and get started. To write this article, I use Claude and some good news before we get started. Claude 2 is now available in 75 different countries. So more likely than not, you're also able to access Claude and use Claude to write content. So for this method, I combined two of my most popular prompts. I combined my low AI detection prompt, which allows us to write more human-like content. And I combined that with my SEO prompts. First, I started with my low AI detection prompt. So essentially, I told the AI to write in a way that's very human-like sounding. And I gave it a bunch of instructions that it needs to follow to write more human sounding content that will not be detected as AI when we run our test on originality.ai. So again, all of these prompts are going to be in the description below for you to use on your own. So this is the first prompt. Once we went ahead and entered that, I then asked the AI, do you understand? Just to make sure that it understood the instructions that I gave it. Then I started by generating my content. First thing that I did was, was generate an outline. And again, I used my SEO uh, blog outline prompt, which will be in the description below. And I told it to use the instructions above, write an article about the topic, and the topic at hand for today is going to be how to increase cold email open rates. So that's the topic in which I'll be writing about. But of course, you can replace this with any topic that you're writing about. So Claude then went ahead and created an outline for us. Now, what I did was, and this is very important, I didn't just use that outline to write the content. What I did was I copied over the keyword in which we're going after, which is how to increase cold email open rates. And I went over to Google. And I opened up and read some of the top ranked blog posts for that specific keyword. Now, once I was in those blog posts, I initiated Harper AI. Harper AI is a free Chrome extension. You can download it for completely free. And essentially what it does is it allows you to read the information from a website and you're able to extract information using AI. So what I did was I then asked Harper AI to extract the outline from some of these top ranked blog posts. And then I copied over those outlines and pasted it in to Claude. The reason why I did this was, of course, if these blog posts are ranking on the first page of Google, there's things that they've included within their outlines that we should also include within our outline. So as you can see, after Claude generated its own unique and original outline, I then told it to combine the outline above with the outlines below for one comprehensive SEO outline. And I repeated this process for another top ranked blog post and I just went ahead, once that was finished generating, I copied over um, the outline and pasted that into Claude. So once I ran that input, this is the output in which we get back. And as you can see, we get a very in-depth and very long outline that's SEO optimized because we're using our own um, outlines. We're also combining that with outlines that are ranking on Google. So once the outline was finished, now it's time to generate the full um, article. And I use the typical prompt in which I would use. But what I added in, which was another important point, is I told it to include these keywords naturally throughout the article. So what I did was on those same websites that I extracted the outlines, I then used Harpo again to tell it to extract the main keywords, related keywords, LSI keywords that we would need to include within our own article. You don't need to have a very fancy prompt, just tell it to extract the main keywords. And as you can see, Harpo AI will do a very good job at extracting those keywords. Then just go ahead and copy that over and paste it in within that prompt. Now you can repeat this as many times as you like. I only did this for one website, but you can do this for two to three websites. Um, because you have the luxury when you're using Claude, you have such a big context window that you will not go over um, 100,000 tokens because that is the limit for Claude. So you can paste as much content and as much input as you like when you're generating content with Claude. So once I included those keywords, then I inputted the prompt, which was to generate the full article. If we scroll down below, as you can see, we got a pretty good article from Claude. It's very well formatted. It's very easy to read. It talks about the topic at hand and it gives some actionable tips that you can use for this specific topic. The only drawback that I had to this article was that it was a little bit short for my likings. So I told it to expand this article. So it is at least 2000 words and it actually went ahead and expanded the article and it made it about 3000 words. So I think because this is a general topic, it was able to write a lot more content. But again, as I scroll through this um, article, you can see it's very, very well done. It's very in depth. And this is honestly better than 
what a human writer could probably have done because it's able to take all that information from different places and write a very, very comprehensive, in-depth, engaging, and informative article. So once the article was finished generating, the first thing that I did was I ran it on originality.ai because I wanted to see what the AI detection score would be. So as you can see, this is the article title, how to dramatically increase your cold email open and response rates. I pasted in about 2,400 words of the article, so a little bit less than 3,000. But as you can see, the original score is 99% original and only 1% AI. And we are using the current model. This is a really, really good result because it's very hard for you to get very high human content, especially as originality.ai gets a lot smarter and a lot harder for you to bypass with these tips and tricks. But I'm very happy with this score. And you can be very confident that if you wanted to post this on your website, you would have no issues posting this and you wouldn't have any issues down the line if Google is, decides to penalize AI generated content. So not only are you able to write in-depth, informative and engaging content, you're also able to write content that bypasses originality.ai. And this is the type of content that you need to create if you would like to rank on Google. I always get questions from people that ask me why can't they rank on Google? And that's because you're creating thin, generic AI generated content. Once you improve your prompts and you're able to have access to Claude, as you can see, you're able to write much, much more in-depth content that will be much more likelier to rank on Google. So that was the results from the originality.ai test. Next up, I went ahead and ran this content into Neuron Writer to see what the content optimization score would be. Now, in all honesty, when I pasted this first into Neuron Writer, it was about a 70. So I had to do a little bit of manual optimization to get it over to a 74. The most important thing that I did was I entered a title and a description, and I kind of customized the title and the description for the recommendations that we had from Neuron Writer. But to generate the title and the description, I just went ahead over to Claude and told it to create an SEO optimized title and a made a description, and it did a pretty good job. I also tweaked the H1 to include Again, some of the recommended keywords that Neuron Writer was giving me to include, but that was all that I did. And I was able to get a content score of 74 out of 100. And as you can see, the best right now on the SERP for this specific keyword is 72. So as of right now, Neuron Writer is telling us that we have one of the highest content um, optimization scores for all of the websites that are ranking for this specific keyword. And of course, you can always go ahead and manually optimize this content if you would like to increase this score. But as you can see here, this is the method that you need to follow if you would like to create high SEO optimized content that has a low AI detection score. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new and I hope that you can practically use these tips and these prompts within your content writing. If you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.